So I want to wrap this up on the home front. I've often said that um, there's a special place hmm. in heaven for coaches' wives. Mm -hmm. So it's clear that uh, Jerry Spurrier's got a seat at the head table there. And Achieving. what's interesting to me, and I know this was a, a, a different era, so it wasn't so uncommon, but you guys actually got married before senior your, your yeah. senior yeah. going into your senior year mm -hmm. at Florida. Is right. That? right. We'll be married 40, is it 47 years now this September, I think. So, uh, yeah, she really is a, a, a caring person. You know, she, she knows about all the guys on the team, comes watch his practice. Uh, dinners and so forth uh, with the team so she's very supportive i think she's been to every game but one that i've had as a head coach in, in what 29 years now so she goes to everything well you said you're going on on 47 mm -hmm. i'm coming up on 12. how's how's the guy okay. get to 47 what's the what's the secret one day at a Coach time me up. one day at a time uh, i don't know how many times i will say that if we're still married next year we'll do this again so, uh, you know, it's always thus far, she and I are doing pretty well. All right. Well, we're going to end with our speed round. So I'll fire your questions relatively rapid fire. Mm -hmm. And number one, is uh, Jadavion Clowney going to win the Heisman? It would, be a, it would be an upset if he did. The only way he could win it is maybe if he uh, can get some loose balls, pick them up and score. If he can score three touchdowns, I think he's got a shot at it. If, if we win, if we don't win, he has no chance. Is that important to the program we, that he does yeah, our, or that he's team, in the mix? Yeah, we got to win 10, 11, 12 games or so, and he's got to really make some big plays. But really, we're concentrating on trying to win the division. That's the first thing we try to do. This one came off Twitter. A guy, mm -hmm. Tim Riley, wants to know, does he still keep his Heisman in the back seat of his car? He used to have it in the back of his Z in Gainesville? That's nah, not true. Not that's, true? No, that's never been true. Uh, the university gets one of the Heisman. And uh, I've always kept the other one at my house. But actually, when I came down here uh, in November of 04, uh, I had a whole bunch of stuff sent, or, or else I, I drove it down. And so it's actually in my office here. So I keep one in the office here, but it's sort of in the corner. Uh, a lot of recruits come in, they never even see it. Unless so that was never somebody true points that, it out. That story about it being in the car, and no. you took it to a poker game or something? No. That's just apocryphal. No. Part of the legend. You can't believe everything you hear said. <laughs> Is that right? You, you should know that, buddy. <laughs> All too well. Who's the best golfer amongst the college football coaches? Well, Ricky Newhouser used to be, but he's out now, so uh, who would be the best? Gosh, so uh, Tommy Tubbyville and I play pretty close. So, you know, I've beaten him, he's beaten me some. Uh, so maybe you're the I best. don't know. No, I, I, shoot, the, the way I've played lately, I don't think I could be. Uh, you know, eight, ten years ago, New Heisel was the best, and uh, uh, there was a coach at Southern Miss It was awfully good, too. But uh, other than that, I don't know. They ought to have a tournament. We used to have a tournament. I actually won it in 1995, beat John McAvick uh, out in Dallas. Uh, they had the American Football Coaches Association had a little tournament. Uh, John McAvick was a heck of a good player also. All right, well, that's high praise. Uh, last one. Can you say with 100% certainty that South Carolina is going to be your last job in coaching? No, I can't say that. Uh, I don't know what will happen three, four years down the road. You never know. Uh, and uh, one thing I don't believe in is retiring, Seth. So I, I, don't, I don't think that I'll ever just flat out say I'm retiring. Uh, if, if I've coached here long enough, whenever that may be, uh, shoot maybe go coach a high school or something you know that would be that'd be fun coaching a group of kids that uh, coaching high that school listen football? to their coach <laughs> uh you know just but i would stay busy doing something i don't know what it'd be but uh the, the retiring thing i, I just don't think it's for me